Ideally, I wanted to make this video without my sunglasses on, but <laughs> it's so bright up here. I wanted to spend a bit of time talking about what inner dance is for people who have never done it and what the breath work and what the purpose of this stuff that we're doing is. It looks kind of wild. For me, there's nothing magical or mystical other than the experience as it is itself. There's something that you're accessing that I don't really know what it is, but it's an aspect of self. It's a different kind of aspect of self. And you can see on these videos, the way that we're playing it out. It's like a theater and this is the purpose of it. This is the purpose of this kind of natural exploration, this natural movement, this natural kind of free flow and feeling of emotion as it comes up through the body and then it's expressed through movement, through sound. Yeah, I don't want to get ahead of my station and start claiming things that I don't know, that I can't prove, that I don't want to make up a lot of stories about. I want this to be as honest and authentic as possible. What I am interested in is exploring concepts with it, exploring ideas, exploring systems of interpretation and whether they serve life or not. A way of being here as a human being that is conducive to something that is functional, grounded yet open to change and it's really about how do you live on this planet in a good way it sounds a bit grandiose when i put it like that you can see here that the experience itself is sincere and the movement is authentic even though it is like a theater it's like a personal theater where you play out your own narrative you slip into the roles the different archetypes that we have as human beings and you get to feel and embody these different emotions what does your resentment look like when it takes shape? What does your anger look like when it takes shape? How does it vocalize itself? And by getting in touch with these things, through the breath, through the music, and the function of breath work, the reason we use the breath is because it bypasses the brain. It creates a lot of electricity in the body and you bypass the normal patterns and that allows emotion to come out. The way that music is designed and the structure of the music is designed to take you through the emotional spectrum. It's designed to take you through the 12 stages of awakening as outlined by Mr. Villaraza. And really for me, it's more about going through this emotional spectrum and seeing these cycles, what Joseph Campbell documented as the hero's journey. You, all of life adopts these kind of narratives, these cycles, these waves, and we play this out in this, what's essentially a, a theater of self-observation. So it is about adopting archetypes and exploring and knowing yourself more, knowing your dark parts and knowing your light parts and getting a more complete picture of yourself. You can then integrate it. You can integ we integrate it through dialogues. We integrate it through writing exercises. There's all kinds of things we do to integrate these parts of the shadow self or these parts of the dissociated self or these parts of micro traumas that might be lurking. And it's good, it's good to know that. It's good to know a complete picture of yourself. And the movement is because sound has a shape. Sound is shape. If you see the research being done into cymatics and how sound takes shape, we're looking at this right now. This is what we are. We are sound in shape. There's a vibration the frequency that takes the shape, the material shape uh, of a human body and we're constantly in this and if we can explore things on that level, sound, shape and bypass the normal brain circuits with heightened electricity through breath work then we can really get to somewhere that is quite a different and unique and expanded version of ourselves. Softening especially into the darker aspects of self, you get a more complete picture of yourself, you know what you're capable of. You begin to develop this more complete map of who you are and with that more complete map, you can navigate through the world a lot more succinctly, evolve the perception to simultaneously deconstruct and reconstruct systems of interpretation, perceptions. This is the idea behind perception architecture. I would like to rename it Perception Architecture Destruction. It's a little bit late for that now because I've already bought the domain name, so what are you going to do? Krishnamurti says to observe without evaluation, observe without judgment is the highest form of intelligence. You want to investigate these, this different, these different parts of the spectrum of emotions objectively to hold it in observation. If you can observe yourself objectively, if you can observe 
victim patterns in yourself are rising and falling, happiness, joy, rising and falling, then you get to anchor yourself to something that's much more stable than the intensity of emotion that comes through. And this is really what it's about. It's about having these experiences, exploring the territory, waking up to those parts and not choosing to go into voluntary slumber and keeping with the dissociation without trying to make up stories and saying, yes, this is what it is, but exploring different ideas, different ways of interpreting, taking what's useful and discarding what isn't. And there's no set way to do that. I can't tell you what that is for you. I don't know your situation. I don't know what you've been through. I don't know what you're working with. I don't know what you're working towards, but it's important. It's very important to know that for yourself. And this is one of the tools that we'll be using to help us get to this place. I do it because it's alive. It's, the, it's one of the most alive things I can do is to investigate, even though it's weird, but it's fine. So there we go. I don't know if there's anything else I really want to say about that. I'm on top of a mountain, as you can see, which is really nice. And in a minute, I'm going to strap a piece of plastic to my feet and I'm going to skid down it. Bum, 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 bum. Hopefully in an effective way that doesn't leave me broken physically and emotionally. Come on, come on. Yee! Woo -wah! Hey, so beautiful. <laughs> so, we'll see. That's it. I don't want to say anything else. Thanks for your time. I'll see you soon. The film you are about to see has no characters. If you spare a little of your imagination, it is a film to describe to you the effect of cymatic frequencies on matter.